to the channel for part two of the coffee bar tour. I didn't want to make the video so long and put it all in one video, so I did it in two parts. So we're going to start off on this side of the coffee bar. I know it's probably a lot, but I know some of you guys love these types of videos and I love watching them. So that is why I am filming them. And I will also make sure to leave everything down in the description box down below so you guys can get that. And if you are not following me over on Instagram, what are you guys doing? You need to be following me. You want coffee recipes, right? Jump on over on Instagram. I'll make sure to leave that down in the description box down below. And you can follow me over there for, I do coffee reels every single day and I upload different recipes. So let me stop rambling. Let's turn the camera around and. Okay, up here, all I have, mostly the second shelf, I wanted it to be more functional. So I have my mocha pot here. This is a new tool for me. I've only used it one time. I'm still kind of learning how to use it. I have this barista guide coffee book that I thought it was way bigger than this. Mm. It just sits on the coffee bar. I have this little cute little mug and I put, I went to a candle class and I made a candle out of it and it's snickerdoodle. Oh my God. It smells amazing. I hope you guys can see the inside. It smells so good. I have not used it yet. I have more coffee pots that I got this from Target. It was in that bullseye place and I thought this would be nice to sit on a coffee bar. Since my wall is black, it will pop out more. So this is from the Barrel um, Coffee House. Coffees, this is the uh, Intenso. That's how much I like this coffee. Not sponsored. But, and then here is my shaker that I use for my shaking espressos. This is, um, I really like this, it's so pretty. The only issue I have with it, it's very heavy because it's glass. And so when I'm doing videos, it's hard for me to shake it, it's heavy. So that's my only complaint about it. I apologize if you hear my wind chimers in the background. I do have my door open because it's hot. And, well, it's not technically hot. I'm just having a hot flash. So, yeah. Uh, I do have both of my uh, milk frothers here, my handheld ones. I have my lamp. I got this one from Ikea. And then I have some more syrups here. I have my torch. This is my one of my other new additions. Uh, I have hazelnut here. I have a marido, marido? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And these are all Monet. This is macadamia nut. This is uh, butter pecan. I like them both in Monin and Trani. So I don't have a favorite. And then uh, I do have blueberry, blueberry, caramel blueberry iced coffee. Mm, don't know what you're missing. So good. Then on the top, I just have a fake plant. A Ray Dunn canister that says sweet. These ones are, they came in the advent calendar this year of Nespresso. I have the little one. And I do have the big one because we got both. Because my husband will get to that when we get to the machines. But yeah, I do have both of these. And then I just have some cute little espresso little cups up there that I think I got from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I don't know, one of those stores. I got the coffee bar sign from Target last year in the dollar section. And then I just have my little cake thing and it has fake, uh, what are those, fake bagels in there. Thought it would look cute and aesthetic. So yeah, that's all that I have for up here. Also, I just have my, my spoons, my stirring spoons and stuff like that right there. Okay, so these are the three machines that I do have. I have the virtual, uh, Nespresso, and then I have the um, Mini Incensa. I don't know if they carry this one anymore, but you still can find this off of Amazon. Uh, and then I have my manual espresso machine as well. This is by Beville. Uh, this one does coffee and espresso. So let me show you the difference of the pods. So this is your coffee pod. This is your seven ounce coffee pod and then this is your single shot of espresso and then it also does a double and this is your double shot so you can see the difference in the coffee pod and the double shot 
This is Peppermint and this is Blanco Legero. They no longer have Blanco Legero, but they do have two other ones that are very similar and they are so good. And I personally like them better than Blanco Legero. I know a lot of people start off with Blanco Legero when they're getting into espresso because it's a very smooth pod and it pairs well with pretty much anything. Um, for me, the only reason why I don't care for it so much anymore, it's because it's not strong enough. I don't taste it. So that is why I'm like, once it's gone, I'm happy it's gone. I'm not going to repurchase it. This one is, um, well, obviously you can't repurchase it. What am I talking about? They don't have any more. This one is called um, Altissio. This one is a very strong pod. This is a single shot of espresso. And these ones you use for this machine. My husband drinks the coffee. And so that's why I have, that's why we did it this way. This was my first machine. And then I ended up getting this one. This one is for the smaller pods that I showed you in the first video. These are, this is for the single shot of espresso. This one does espresso and longos. I've never had a longo, so I just stick with the espresso. And this is the machine that I mostly use the most out of all three of them. We come to She Devil. Yeah, you want to know why her name is She Devil? Let me tell you. She Devil is a pain in the butt. Uh, you have to learn how to use it, learn how to dial in your beans. That's why I have a scale. And then my grinder is actually right here. I have a Bedville grinder. I hope this is in camera and frame. But this is my grinder that I use, and I dial in my beans, and I have to measure and all that. So, yeah. And then I also have a Ninja blender, and that's for me to make my frappuccinos so so my tripod wants to be a pain in the butt today so down here pretty much is just all of our recycle bags um our descaling kits these are all of our coffees for the machines these are my oh ow, ow. sorry guys i apologize but these this side is my husband's for his coffee these are for the machine up there. This one's a really good pod. This is one of the new pods. I think they are all sold out, though. They are completely sold out. So, and then these are the ones that I have. I have Ice Legero. This one's really good. And then my husband, what does he have? He likes, like, Colombia, um, Ethiopia. I think this is Mexico right here. Yeah, he likes these ones. So those are his. So pretty much that's it for that side. And then you close this. This is my knock box. So when I dump the pug in after I brew it, these are my glasses. Those are some of my mugs. I have mugs every somewhere else. And then these are just organizers right here. Sorry for the camera being a little shaky. I do apologize. And then here are just our disposable cups, and that's pretty much it. Okay, that's the end for the coffee bar tour. Thanks again for watching. If you have not watched part one, I will have it linked in the cards up here below, or not. Hopefully, you will go watch it, and I will catch you in the next one. And, and it, it was okay. I just have to play around with it more. It's ground already, so that's...